Okay, in this video, I'm going to explain distance formula in the coordinate plane. Uh, before I give you the formula, I'm going to gi uh, give you a simple example first. So here are uh, two points, 2,1 and 6,4, and we want to find the distance between these two points. Okay, to do that, I want to uh, remind you of the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, if Pythagorean theorem is um, when there is a right triangle, with the lengths of three sides, say A, B, and C, then the longest side, the longest side C squared equals uh, A squared plus B squared. And this is Pythagorean theorem. So if you apply the Pythagorean theorem, then we can find the length of the longest side using two other sides of the triangle. So we are going to use this idea here. So we are going to draw a right triangle. So here is the right triangle, and the distance, distance between the two points, this is the longest side of the triangle. And let's call it, let's call it D, D for distance. Now if you look at the picture, it's, it is quite easy to um, find the length of two other sides. So what is the length of this side? Well, the length of this side, it is in fact the distance between uh, the numbers 2 and 6, on the x-axis, and this distance is 1, 2, 3, 4 units. So this is 4. We can find the length of this other side similarly. Uh, that is the distance between the two numbers 1 and 4 on the y-axis. So 1, 2, 3 units. The length of this side is 3. Now, if we apply Pythagorean theorem, we have this formula. d squared equals uh, 4 squared plus 3 squared. Now, if we take square roots of both sides, we have d equals square root of 4 squared plus 3 squared, uh, which is 4 squared is 16, and 3 squared is equals 9. So, and 16 plus 9 is 25, so d equals 5. The distance is 5. Okay, now let's think about this other situation. Here is another coordinate plane. And there are two points, let's say P and Q. Uh, this time, we let's suppose P has X coordinates and Y coordinates, X1 and Y1. And let's suppose Q has X, Y coordinates, X2, Y2. And we want to find the distance between these two points. So in this situation, the coordinates of the two points are uh, not numbers, they are variables. So if we somehow figure out how to express D in terms of these X's and Y's, then that's going to be the formula. So here is the, the right triangle. Now, how do we find the uh, length of this side? Well, if you go back to this example, how did we find four? We just counted the number of units, but there is another way to do that. This is, in fact, the difference between the, the x-coordinates of the, these two points, 6 minus 2. Likewise, the this other side, the number 3, how do we get the number 3 from the y-coordinates of the two points? Well, this is 4 minus 1. This is the difference between the, the y-coordinates of uh, the two points. So, let's go back to this uh, picture two sides of this triangle, they are the difference of the x-coordinates and the difference of y-coordinates. So we can set up this equation, d squared equals uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And then if we take square roots of both sides, we get the distance formula. Square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. This is the distance formula. Okay, here is another distance problem. Uh, this time we are not going to draw any picture. We are just going to apply the formula, the distance formula, to find the answer. Okay, here is the distance formula again. D is square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. 
So x1 and y1, they are the x, y coordinates of the first point. x2, y2, they are x, y coordinates of the second point. So, in this case, the distance is square root of, parenthesis, x2, which is 1, minus x1, which is negative 1, and close the parenthesis and take square of this number. Plus y2, y2 is 2, minus y1, y1 is 6, close the parenthesis and take square. Now we just need to compute this number and simplify it, and that's going to be the distance between the two points. So let's do the computation. Here, 1 minus negative 1, that is 2, so we have 2 squared. And 2 minus 6 is negative 4, so parenthesis, negative 4 squared. And this is square root of 4, 2 squared is 4, plus negative 4 squared. If you take the square root of the negative number, it becomes a positive number. So this is negative 4 squared is positive 16. And 4 plus 16 is 20. Now we can actually simplify this square root. 20 is, 20 is 4 times 5. And 4 is a perfect square. So this is square root of 4 times square root of 5. And square root of 4 is 2. So we've got this solution.